ProWrestlingTees.com slash 616 Entertainment is the home of all official 616 Entertainment merchandise. Pick up a shirt, you'll be glad you did. This video is also brought to you in part by the Patreon producers, without whom content like this would not be possible. Dan Dans, welcome to 616 Nitro. My name is Ian. This week on the show, we're going to play some WCW Nitro. Why do I sound so excited? I don't know. This game sucks. God damn it, this game sucks. But you know what doesn't suck? See the little prompt on the screen that says circle for rant? You can press circle on these guys and everyone will cut a promo for you. Let's start right out with DDP. Hey, 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 monkey boy. Like there's a choice here? Good God. Pick the man with the plan. Pick D, D, P. This is literally the best part of the game. I'm not kidding. Listening to everybody cut their promos. First of all, how many times did Sting dress like this? You really think you're ready for the Sting? You really think you're ready for the Scorpion Deathlock? You think you're ready for a fatal encounter? Stinger's in great shape there. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh my god, Kevin Nash is a classic. Hey there! I'd like to get power pop. Come on, pick me. I'm begging you, begging you. Please pick me. Thank you. Clearly, he doesn't give a flying fuck about recording his part for this game. Oh, dude, the Macho Man. I loved his NWO year. Oh, yeah! Watch the flying elbow drop off the top rope. Not only beat people one, two, three, but I hurt him real bad. He brought it every time some young Eddie Guerrero. You better be ready to wrestle, because you know, when you're getting in the ring with Eddie Guerrero, it's going to be high-flying and exciting. A long way from Latino heat, you know what I'm saying? His charisma, he hadn't quite found all of it yet. Whoops! <laughs> this first match, Dan Dance, we're going to put this man, the giant. You think you got the courage to step in the ring? I think you're going to wind up with a snap net from the choke slam. Why did they stop... They cut him off. I think you're gonna wind up with a snap neck from the choke slip. What the fuck? We're gonna put the giant up against Hollywood Hogan. You know, brother, you think you've got what it takes to beat Hollywood Hogan? Watch him climb in the ring and try out the largest arms in the world. Hollywood style. We are gonna try in those arms, Hollywood Hogan. We're going to break those arms, you know what I'm saying? Dan Dance, it's Hogan versus the Giant, and it's up next. What a nice little Mean Gene loading screen. I always used to pop for the spinning 3D logo up in the corner, too. Simpler times, Dan Dance. With the great music, this great era of WCW, it's time for a great video game, right? Wrong. God damn it. Look at it. Listen to the commentary. All right, I ducked out so you could listen to the commentary. All, all, literally, it's Tony Schiavone and Bobby Heenan. All they say are power bomb, pile driver, vertical suplex. There's like four, five, six, seven phrases that they throw out over and over. Hollywood Hogan with the big drop kick there. You're going to see a lot of the same moves over and over because every character in the game has the same moves including the vertical suplex that you saw right there. Each character, had, look at that big fucking pickup giant like that over your head. Each character has their own like unique moves like this one here. Come here, Hogan. Come here, Hogan. That one-handed pancake, that's square triangle triangle and you have to hit those buttons so fast for that to work or else you're just shit out of luck. If you don't press them fast enough, it's just not going to work. So we've got this match here. I don't mean to keep getting out of the ring, but the button to get out of the ring is the same button to do half of the moves. So, completely static crowd out there. Nobody moving a fucking muscle. But you know what is fancy? Check this out. Oh, the second one didn't really work out. But when you taunt... Get a good piece of your health back. 
So really, you can just knock a guy down and then just spam that over and over, you know what I'm saying? I kicked out! That's like the one, one of the very few lines that Bobby Heenan has in this entire game. It's a nice belly-to-belly -belly suplex there from the giant. The seven foot four, 400 pound giant. Because that's how big they said he was in WCW, seven foot four. <laughs> so we've got Hogan down. We are going to taunt. We're going to get our health up here. Now Dan Dan's in WCW. Oh, man, that fucking throw was unbelievable. Pile driver on the floor. Yeah, let's see Hogan take one of those. I don't think so. This is one of those games where you can get interference from the back. Someone can come out and help you. And back in the day, that was actually big business. It's totally random. You don't know who is going to come help you. But uh, I did a practice match before I started recording just to make sure I knew how to play this game. Look at the AI on Hogan actually using their brain a little bit. Backbreaker. Getting their health up. No matter, because we're just going to get our health back up too. Um... And I did the Giant versus DDP, which is why I remember how to do Giant's moves here, like the fucking pancake. I don't remember how to do any of his other moves, just that. Well, his other move, I should say, because he only has one other one. But I don't remember how to do it. Uh, but it was the Giant versus DDP, and I was beating up DDP. Who came... Oh, speak of the devil! Conan glitching out. He looks like the fucking girl from the ring coming out of the TV. He's so framey. But Conan is here with an awesome looking back suplex, trying to stand up for the leader of the NWO, Hollywood Hogan. Frankensteiner for my deeds. Usually it's for your deeds, that was for my deeds. But we are in, we're in danger here. Powerbomb on the floor. We are in, get the fuck out of my face or I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep doing it. Oh no. I'm gonna get counted out. Get in the ring. Any Jesus Christ. Alright, I'll just stay out here and talk a little bit. Try and get some fans. Greg Jackson, you know what I'm saying? Oh, why don't I just do this? I'll press my own interference button. So, here comes... Get in the ring, giant! Get in the ring! Here comes Lex Luger to help me out. And now I timed it perfectly. Conan has to leave for some arbitrary reason. Oh no, look at the time limit up there! We're running out of time! Can I finish Hogan inside the time limit? Not gonna happen. There you go. If the five minute time limit somehow runs out, it goes to decision like a fucking MMA fight. If you can believe that. Oh man, I say we get another match going between Scott Hall. Yo, Chico, you selected Scott Hall? Get ready for a wild ride on the outside. Pretty sweet promo, getting all of his shit in. So we had a WCW guy go over an NWO guy. Now we need an NWO guy to go over a WCW guy. So I think we do Scott Hall versus Lex Luger. Why not? Because he caused problems for Hogan. This is why they call me the total package. Do you have a pain threshold to withstand the torture rack? Let's find out. Dan Dan's, it's Scott Hall versus Lex Luger, and it's next! Look at this NWO ring. Luger's thinking about going up top right away. I don't think so. He's gonna go up top again. I don't think so. I'm just gonna stand away from him. He's gonna go up with... Without you guys playing this game, it's hard to describe how bad it is. First of all, what the fuck is going on with Scott Hall's skin? And Luger's for that matter, too. I realize they're trying to make Scott Hall look tan and Luger look muscular, but they just look really sick. <laughs> they look real sick. Look at that beautiful fallaway slam. 
Do I have my phone next to me with a with a fucking list of how to do Scott Hall's moves? Yeah, I do, because if I didn't, this would be fucking unwatchable. So X squared Oh no! Atomic drop on the deal! X squared square, what's that? A little bit of a headbutt ski. Scott Hall, show him the taunt. Oh my god, he moves so fast! <laughs> Diving head scissors from Lex Luger. Get the fuck out of here. Watch this again. <laughs> it looks like he's gonna break the fucking speed barrier. Oh my goodness. Let's talk about that fucking following slam again. That shit looked really good. Boom! How about it? Come on. <laughs> he loves that head scissors, dude. Look at that, up and over the top. We got Luger right where we want him, and I don't think we're letting this one go to decision. I think we do up X circle X. That's how you do it. It's, let me go, up X circle X. Well, that did a hip toss. I'm looking for the outsider's edge. Come here, Lex. Come here, fuck face. It's not working. Let's try it a fourth time. Here we go. The animation is great. It's just this game sucks. One, two, three. And if you're not playing the game, it's so hard to describe how bad it feels. But either way, I hope you're having fun watching the show. <laughs> Dan Nance, it's time to quit fucking around. Are you ready for this? That right there was a big time cheat code. That's some old school shit. So you've seen all the guys that we have here on the first row and the second row. We've been through this part of the roster, but we just unlocked everybody, including Eric Bischoff, Mean Gene, Chris Jericho, Disco Inferno, Bobby the Brain, Miss Elizabeth, Sonny Ono, Ultimo Dragon. Look at these names. These are real WCW names. These, he, that's a weird photo of him. These are real WCW names right here, but if we go down again, we've got Hulkster, Pee Wee, Stinger. Yeah, these are real WCW people, right? How about Frankensteiner? How about a fucking T-Rex? Oh, you ever want to play as a grizzly bear in a wrestling game? How about a fucking skeleton? Maybe we'll put Santa Claus up against an alien while we team Tony Schiavone with Dweeble. Good fucking God. Maybe Snowman versus a fucking bee. Now here's where it gets real fucking crazy. Is these people here, these are the people that worked on the game. And what I'm doing right now is I'm looking for my buddy Sanders Keel. And I call him my buddy because I do Wrestling Game Rewind with him over on ad-free shows. That's Conrad Thompson's outlet. Every week or every other week, whatever fucking the schedule is for us doing that show now. I don't see Sanders here. Maybe he's not here. Maybe he's in WCW Nitro because he was a developer, a producer on these games. He's lucky he's not here because I'd rip him a new one. But fuck it, Dan Dans. Let's get real silly. I'm thinking we do Grayling, who is representing the Galactic Federation. <laughs> We're going to do Grayling versus Dweeble. This is big money right here. <laughs> you guys recognize some of these characters probably from my history of WCW video games. Oh, look at the German suplex by the fucking alien! I don't even know how I did that. Look at the uppercut into the low blow by Dweeble! This here... This is big money, big business. Powerbomb. Why is the alien dressed like Scott Hall? Can anyone tell me why the alien's dressed like Scott Hall? What I was saying was, you probably remember some of these characters from jokes I made in the History of WCW Video Games documentary series I did. If you have not watched that, you should. Just type in History of WCW or History of WCW Video Games on Google or YouTube. It'll pop right up. Watch the full movie version. You can watch the whole thing. Click once, you get to watch the whole fucking deal. You know what I'm saying? That's why, that's why I put out the full movie version. But I made a joke in that one. Why is the fucking alien dressed like Scott Hall? We'll never know. There's a flare spot right there. But you know what the ultimate question is? 
if an alien called for help, who would come help him? Let's find out. A bee. A fucking, a, a fucking wasp. A yellow jacket wasp is who comes and helps a fucking alien when he's in trouble. Against an evil clown named Dweeble. Not Doink. Dweeble. Look at the bee! He used those wings! <laughs> It's a goddamn grizzly bear. <laughs> All hell is breaking loose on 616 Nitro. <laughs> the alien and the wasp are going head to head with the clown and the grizzly bear. Oh, God fucking damn it. What do I do for the rest of this show? There's no topping this. There's absolutely no topping this. I have no fucking idea what to do from here. All hell is broken loose. <laughs> the fucking bear with the one-handed pancake on the alien. The fucking bee is just jumping up and down in the corner. He's not even helping me anymore. Holy Christ. Dweeble. Dweeble with the head scissors. Let's do some commentary on this. Dweeble and the grizzly bear. Putting the boots to Grayling. Belly to belly suplex by Dweeble. Will that be all? Grayling trying to build a head of steam. Take this match back. But Dweeble's punishment might just be too much. Just a one count. Grayling is not going anywhere. I hope you packed a lunch for this one. Because we are just getting started here. I'm f <laughs> Frankensteiner by Dweeble! Frankensteiner! One, two, three. And there it is! Dweeble demolishes the Grayling on 616 Nitro. You know what? That's fucking dumb, but I can out dumb it. I promise you. I promised you I could outdumb that last match, and here we are, goddammit. It's a tag team showdown of Dude Man and Uncle Monkey taking on Bones and Ecto in the disco under voodoo match rules. What does that mean? It means every time you get hit, your fucking head gets bigger. <laughs> Check it out. Powerbomb, bigger head. St go for the cover. Only one, but guess what? Into the ropes. Over the top rope, and his head's getting bigger! How can his head possibly get any bigger? Dude Man is taking all the punishment that he can take. We're gonna have to get in here. We're gonna have to make a tag. Look at that tilt to whirl slam by Bones! I got a problem with Bones. Bones really wants Dude Man outside the ring. But Dude Man says no, there's a big power bomb! Heading into the corner. There's a pile driver. The question is, can I figure out how to make a tag? The, the R2, there it is. The showdown continues with Ecto stepping in against Uncle Monkey. You guys might remember the joke of Dude Man versus Uncle Monkey, which is a main event anywhere in the fucking country. I don't care what you say. I made that joke in the history of uh, WCW video games. This is where these two gentlemen put their differences aside because they realize they have a common enemy in the shape of Bones and Ecto. The dream team of Dude Man and Uncle Monkey. This is like the mega powers coming together, you know what I'm saying? This is like if John Cena and Roman Reigns formed a team with The Rock, Stone Cold, Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart, Undertaker, and Kane. That's the sort of shit we're dealing with here, with Dude Man and Uncle Monkey coming together. Do you understand? Do you guys fucking understand? That's a power bomb. Put him away, Dude Man. I said, that's a power bomb. Put him away, Dude Man. Dan Dance, this was the most insane episode of 616 Nitro there ever will be. I hope you're still alive somehow. I love you, and I will see you next week.